Okay guys, welcome back to the vlog. On today's episode, we're gonna replace the oil sending unit on my wife's GMC Denali. Don't forget guys to smash that subscribe button, give a thumbs up on the video, share the videos if you like them, and let me know what you guys think. Comment down below if it was helpful, if there was anything else I could have done better to help you. I do appreciate the feedback. I appreciate you guys taking the time to watch this, and I hope that these videos are very helpful to you guys. Subscribe, and uh, give it a thumbs up. It really uh, means a lot. And turn on notifications as well. This vlog is going to be about replacing the oil pressure sensor on the 2007 GMC Denali with the 6.2. And a couple of things you're going to need is a, you're going to need a little ladder so you can get on here. You're going to want to step right here with one of your or foot, and then you're going to use the alternator as leverage. Uh, some of the things that come off, so you guys know what I took off, uh, is the uh, this is your your engine cover. And all you do is you, it just pops off, guys. You pull it up, and then you kind of grab it from the back, and you pull it up a little bit, wiggle it, and then it comes off. Once you take that off, put it put it off to the side. On this job, when you take it to a shop, they will remove the intake manifold. But I figured out a way how not not to have the need to do that and save you time. So right now, one of the things you'll have to do is you'll have to remove this vent hose right here this is the vent hose uh, I already took it off so when you remove it from this side it has a little clip that goes right here that, that locks it into place you know and as the vehicles get older things become brittle so this is the clip that I took off this is what kind of locks it in there it goes in between it has little ears they, they broke off on the ends and that's what holds it so we'll have to replace this we'll have to go to the parts store very common breaks off and then on the other end push this you're gonna put in your fingers in there you can't really see because it's in the back but since I have it off you're gonna push your fingers so this lines out so you can't see the white inside and then once you put it back on you're gonna lock it and that's how it locks where you can see the white it does have a little pressure release and you could release some pressure just to make sure you don't have any I did have to remove the uh, PCV valve uh, vent hose which is right here if you follow this hose all the way to the bottom right there it's connected to the corner back there you see where that little metal piece shines and there's a little like a little elbow that goes there mine broke it's old like I said it's brittle we'll have to replace that too it looks like it's a 3 8 once you get the hose out of the way you don't have to take it off you just kind of push it on the back so it's not in your way so you want to put your leg in here look I am wearing slippers it's Sunday you know we're, we're quarantined I'm trying to stay home trying to be comfortable and uh, fix the truck at the same time. The best way for me to describe where the sensor is, your valve cover is right here. So this sensor is going to be behind this metal piece. That's metal. It's going to be right straight back there. Put your hand in there and unplug the other connector. Now that we did that, we want to, I want to grab my sensor that I bought at the auto parts store. So definitely recommend going to your local parts store so we don't lose them because they're very handy and it keeps local employees employed. So here's the socket that I bought that you're gonna need for it. This is a, a Lyle, a Lyle tool and it's a part number, uh, so 13250. It has a unique style, specially made for the oil pressure sensor. Well, here's the sensor that I bought and that's what it looks like. So if you look at it, it's not really your common size. And that's why you need to buy this special socket so it fits right in there, very nice and snug. To get it loose, I use the oil sending socket followed by a 3 inch extension, followed by a swivel, by a 6 inch extension. You want to put it in there fully together when you do put it in there. My advice is to go and put the socket between this fuel line, so you want to go inside that fuel line. If you don't go inside that fuel line, it won't let you correctly push it on the sensor because it's at an angle. So if you go in exactly inside that line, it'll help you to get in there straight right on top of it. And then you could just do exactly what I showed you guys out here. And that's it. It's super easy, guys. Definitely recommend doing it this way, that way you don't spend a lot of money taking off the intake manifold, buying gaskets, possibly having, you know, leaking uh, fuel or anything else. Pretty much as things break on my cars, besides 
doing the reviews, doing the racing stuff and the cars and coffee. I like motivating people, teaching people, helping people, and if anything breaks on any of my cars, I fix it and I show you guys how to do it with me. If you guys know there's a shortcut or a better tool, comment down below to help people that watch this video and watch the vlogs. What we fixed today was the issue with the oil pressure gauge. What happens inside the car is when you turn it on, the, the gauge uh, goes up higher than normal, reading very high pressure, and then it goes to zero, and then the, the vehicle starts beeping, and when it starts beeping, it gets very annoying, it's very loud, it tells you to pull over and shut the engine off, because it thinks it has no oil pressure. So that is what it fixes by doing this. I'm going to show you guys what it looks like now that it's fixed. The oil pressure gauge is on the left hand side, so it's reading a little bit under 40 right now. So you want to give it some guess, see what it does? As you can see, it builds up pressure right away, and that's where it stays. So that's the issue we fixed today, guys. Hope you guys liked the vlog. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe.